What's up guys, Shad Juice here. A little Shad Juice in the back. It's a garage sale Saturday. It's August 24th. Hi. Um, it's gonna be that time of the season where most people's kids are back in school, they're finishing up with vacations. And uh, garage sales have definitely slowed down. There's not as many. There's still some out here. No big community sales, which is a bummer. But we are gonna go hit up a. Yeah, that's a snake bump. We're gonna go hit. Bump. We're gonna hit up a, a street sale first. It's a 7:40 now. We'll probably be there in five minutes. We'll get there a little early, but I'm sure people were there earlier than me. So let's see how we do. Let's go. Hey guys, just left that street sale, man. It was it's pretty interesting. Uh, the first sale I went up to, you've seen in the clip that uh, I grabbed a couple Wii games. They're pretty good Wii games. And then uh, there's other guy I've seen him before. He literally runs and sprints to each sale looking for games. Like he runs up, asks for games. And then runs to the next sale. Like, it's crazy. Like, man, I guess, like, you can get some stuff to win it like that, but I think that's just a little overboard. But, anyways, is that the other sale? And this guy brings, no, this guy asks for Legos, I guess, and she bring out a big tub of it. I'm still at the sale. I'm interested in my butt, my kit. Of course, Mikey's interested in looking at the stuff. And we then, got uh, the whole thing. And then, uh, you're spoiling the good part. <laughs> but, uh, so I'm kind of glancing there. He wants one of the cars, and the lady said he could have one out of it. And the guy was nice enough, but he wanted him to have, like, one of the crappier ones in the tub or whatever. Daddy, so. Do I have this much is on my lap and stuff? You want all that? Yeah. But, uh... This stuff is cool. Uh, 
sand yard sale signs <laughs> trying to figure out where it was. Um, but uh, the guy, the lady said 30 bucks, which I thought was a great deal. I'd pay 30. I stayed, I kept my, you know, I stayed away. I don't want to get in people's deals, but I stung around to see what he wanted to do. And he didn't, then you know, it's going on 10 minutes. There's other resellers and people don't want to buy the stuff pouring up to the sale. And then, so now you got a crowd of people around you. It's like, give the money and go. So finally, I kind of walked away. And then uh, she said 30 bucks, and he tried to get it for 20. I'm like, you shitting me? So, and then I said, I'll give you 40. Like, just because he had a good deal and he didn't want to do it. He wanted it cheaper. And they were like, you know, that's a real good deal for all this stuff. And he just walked away, and I bought it for 40 bucks. Some other guy was trying to get it. I'm sorry if you ever watch my channel, but I mean, I'm going to give him some of this stuff. And if I can't sell it, at least he's going to have fun playing with it. So that's all that matters. But. It's just weird, like, if you got a good deal, just pay the money and get out of there, because then I'm going to show up, somebody else is going to show up, somebody else is going to show up, and that just makes it awkward, so. Yeah, it's making it awkward. And I just wanted to share that little story. I'll show you what we got in a minute. Right, guys just getting back from the yard sales we did pretty good today man uh, there wasn't a whole lot of stuff listed we found a couple bonus sales so uh, my wife sent me one that uh, she's seen on Facebook and we did pretty good there and got some records and stuff so uh, let's get into it so we got some good deals all right guys on the first sale you've seen in the video I walked up and had some uh, had a couple good Wii games sitting there we got a uh, Ten shoes shadow assassins, real good shape. It ain't worth much, so I'll probably keep that one. We got a Pikmin a new play control for the Wii. Check the disc on this. It's pretty good. That goes for uh, at least twenty bucks, so that's a good uh, deal there. Two bucks for both of them. They also had a Medela breast pump, and uh, if you look there, it says free on it. Can't beat free. I didn't even look in it, it said free, so. No way it said free. No way. I don't know if it's new or not, probably not, but we'll make some money on that for sure. Especially when it's free, everything is profit then. There's some more you, uh, um, parts your... down here, bottles and stuff. Can you get a Lego City? All right, this might be one of the more questionable buys today. They had a bunch of like old like cigarette advertisement stuff, like he got with points and things. Cigarette. We got a Marlboro bag here that's brand new. It's like a little gym bag, or uh, I can't see the wrapper in there. It's probably like a gym bag or a little cooler or something. We got a Marlboro uh, quick snap 35 millimeter camera, still sealed. Hey, I'm gonna um, choose some to I threw in this Bengals keychain, which is cool. Might put that on my keychain. Got this uh, Marlboro hat, it's kind of cool with the horse on it. It says Marlboro on the back. A little strap back hat. And then all these cups. <laughs> They're all uh, Salem. Cigarettes fresh on the scene. They're all new, but they got some dirt to them. They look like they've been in the garage, so we have to clean them up. I seen somebody was selling like two for 14 bucks. I might try to get rid of more than that at once, so we'll see. Like I need to clean them up because they do look kind of dirty. Yeah, this should wipe off. But I think there was 12 of them. They said like three for a dollar, so. Yeah, see, like this green one's a little more dirty. Like I said, this could be the questionable buy of the day, but paid seven bucks for all the cups and uh, 
the bag and the hat and the camera. So. Dad, you forgot this. Oh yeah, we'll show that. Let's see what else we got here, guys. Whoa! Look at this, Dad. All right, a lot of this stuff came from uh, one other sale. Do, 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 we got this uh, vintage Charizard uh, plush from Pokemon. I asked three bucks on it. This is like one of the deals I got there. I got this, this Charizard. Autograph Frank Thomas. I'm not sure if it's a print. It doesn't look like a print. Because the, the ink definitely looks newer than the picture. So... We got the Charizard, that picture, and this Power Ranger for three bucks all together. Hey, I want to get that, but you got it for me. Also, at the same sale, I guess their grandma or something selling stuff. They had this, the Dake annotated wow. uh, reference Bible, and large this. print edition. I looked this up. This goes for like 50 bucks, so and I paid five for it. Look at that original price there, ninety six ninety nine. Dad, can I show this? Family Christian store. Can I show this? Yeah, we'll get to it. We got these toys that were four for a buck. What we got here? Got a vintage uh, transformer. Pretty cool. These are all quarter a piece. So that's why I grabbed them. Whoa! What the heck is this guy? Yeah, he's scary, ain't he? Yeah. Uh, this is missing a couple pieces, and I don't know what it came from. So, uh, need to find a date on it or something. Playmates, 1990. I wonder if this is a turtle thing. Maybe. It looks like it. And then there's the turtles. We got a, a Mankind figure. He's from 98, so that's pretty good. A little Skeletor figure from 2003. So for a quarter piece, that's a good deal. Got a 64 controller. It's actually got a decent stick on it, but uh, the right trigger button's stuck in, so hopefully I can fix that. But for a buck, why not? What else we got here? It's from a pawn shop. Got this big stack of records here. But we'll uh, show the this amp I got first. Got a Sensui amp. It's an AU-101, you want to look it up. These seem to sell for 100 bucks. It seems in good condition. It's got a little chip there on the wood. I need to test it, make sure it works. So, uh, let's see that's bent a little bit. Them always bend out back. So we got the amp and all these records. We got here. We got uh, yes, going for the one. We got a uh, weather report, heavy weather. <laughs> that album cover looks awesome. Some of these I just picked up. I didn't even know I picked this one up. This is worth a little bit of money, but it's ripped, so probably not. This is a uh, Brownsville station. We got Phil Collins. Hello, I must be going. I think I really know none of them songs on that one. We got Heart. This one had Barracuda, Crazy on You. It's got all the good songs on there. These seem to look, this one seemed to go for a little bit of money. 10cc, How Dare You. I kind of love this old uh, cover art. There's another one, uh, Deception Bends. It's pretty neat. Nazareth, Loud and Proud. Got the Who. What's this one got on it? Got some Alice Cooper. We got uh, the Guess Who, Wheatfield Soul. We got a uh, Queen. Black Sabbath, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. It's 
an awesome cover art. Picked up a Bee Gees. Tell you what, I am a Bee Gees fan. My dad always loved them real. I don't know, there's something just about the music. I don't know. I don't know what it is, man. Just like it. Rolling Stones, Emotional Rescue. Any of you guys, record guys out there, if I have anything rare here, let me know. I haven't really looked them up. I just, I know good bands or whatever. Jethro Tall, World's War Child. This was a good one, uh, Led Zeppelin 3. He had some other Led Zeppelins. He had like, oh man, it's bit missing a record, isn't it? Or is that just decoration up here? It might just be decoration. I've never had this one before. It's pretty cool. He had some other Led Zeppelin he was keeping, but uh, he set this one out. I don't know if he did it on accident or not. Looks to be in good condition, too. That's an awesome score there. Probably keep that one for sure. Alice Cooper, uh, Easy Action. Got Deep Purple, Perfect Strangers. And we got Iron Butterfly. This isn't the woman in and got a David on it. He had that one, too, but he kept, put that in his keep pile. He was, like, putting stuff out, like, eh, I don't want this one. And he's going back and forth, so... Definitely a good stack of records. Got all the records and that amplifier for 30 bucks. So that was a, definitely a good deal. Probably keep a few of the records and uh, make some money on them. Pretty good score there. All right, then at the last sale, we got this cool lot. Uh, they had this uh, RCA Lyra. Pretty much like a little iPod thing. Brand new in the box. I seen one sell for like $9.99, but they listed it like that. And that was the only one I seen that sold. So I need to do some more research on this. That's RD1072. But I just scanned it, so I didn't type it in. So I definitely should make some money on this. This was only two bucks. And uh, like I said, some guy was there. He asked for video games, some older guy. And uh, it's just, I don't know, he probably watches all our videos and, you know, knows what to buy or whatever. But, uh, he had, uh, he asked for video games. They had some Wii games out, but they were all sports and stuff. And then, uh, they said they were bringing something out. I kind of hung around just to see what they brought out. And they brought out this big toe to Legos. And he sat there for, like, 10, 15 minutes and just kept looking through them. Mikey was looking through them because he wanted to see them. And, and uh... I guess he was waiting for everybody to leave so he can make an offer. I mean, the lady told him 30 bucks. I'd have ran out the door for 30 bucks. But like I said, I, we all kind of walked away. And then he said 20 and she said no. I'm like, I'll give you 40. Like, he didn't want to pay 30 bucks for it. So that's the way it goes. Like, I didn't try to cut into his deal. He didn't want to pay the 30. So I offered the 40 afterwards. Like, when you're in that sort of situation... You just buy it all and get the hell out of there because there's going to be other resellers coming So and people that won't buy Legos. So let's see what we got here, guys. Got a whole bin of stuff here. There's train stuff in here. I haven't even looked at this stuff yet. Little boat. I don't think this stuff is super new. I think it's like early 2000s. Please sell a copter. I mean, there's this stuff that's in pieces. I just grabbed it like... Um, out of tractor trailers. He's got all the police stuff out here, don't you? Yeah. Got like a police mobile trailer, and it's got like a jail cell in it. It's kind of cool. Hey, get in! Got get an ambulance. It's got a stretcher the in there. Man. Get the There's a truck to that. You having fun? Yeah. Is this a good pickup today? For you, huh? Yeah. So, like I said, it has to be worth. If it ain't worth forty bucks, he'll have forty bucks worth of fun out of some of it. I'm gonna try to sell a little bit, make some money, and he can keep some of it. I, I want something else to keep. I'm gonna keep all the police stuff. You ain't keeping all of it. I keep all the police stuff that's already there, Dan. Did I take 
We'll see. Say bye to the people. That's going to wrap it up for this week, guys. Bye, 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 bye. If you don't have kids, everybody needs one of them. Don't you? Yeah. All right, I appreciate everybody watching. Make sure you go uh, check out my eBay store and uh, my Facebook and stuff if you want. Links are down below. Peace. Lego police boat. Yep. Peace, Lego police boat. Peace. Hey guys, thought I'd throw this clip in. I went to a, a church sale Friday afternoon after I got off work. It was a five to seven sale. It started on Thursday, so I got there a day late. But it was like six dollar fill a garbage bag. So I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up there. I got this mouse pad with a free game. Redneck deer hunting. It's worth about ten bucks maybe. Got some media here, David and Goliath, volume three, volume four, volume two. Got National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Got some sealed workout DVDs. I think this one actually might sell good. Dance That Walk, Cardio Party, Prenatal Yoga, um, Walk On. This is probably one of the best, this is probably like, Second best thing I got there. A Scotch head cleaning video cassette. Still brand new. And uh, these sell for about 25 to 30 bucks sealed. So definitely a good score. Got the police every breath you take cassette. We got a brand new uh, Dell lithium battery. I'm thinking I can get 30 bucks for this thing. Got some sealed VHS, got a Maxo, Sony, Kenny Chesney DVD, got a G.I. Joe, Secret of the Mummy's Tomb, book and record, which is kind of cool to get. Got the comic book, and in the back, got the record. Pretty neat. I don't think I've ever found one of these before. Uh, we got a Metallica VHS tape. Eric Clapton Guitar Festival Crossroads. This stuff really ain't worth much. I think this one was worth about nine, ten bucks. Quadrophenia. I don't know who that is. The Gambler on VHS. U2 DVD. This was another good score. I was surprised it was still there. Miami Vice, the complete series. There's uh, all five seasons and all the discs are mint. Or mint condition. I don't even think nobody ever watched this. I think it was just opened. Let's see what else we got here. Found a pair of Miss Me jeans. Let me know if these are... I don't think these are supposed to be like that. It's got a pocket on this side. And it's like... Threaded together. I don't think that was supposed to be like that, guys. Right? Yeah, because there's a pocket. So I think I kind of screwed up there. Maybe I can just cut it. I don't know. These are probably just a fail right there. It was probably like discounted somewhere cheap because of the pocket problem. But yeah, that's weird. I grabbed this because it's like a blower or something. This is going to garbage because the blower goes for less than 20 bucks itself. Got a hat here. Fud Pucker Electric Company. Got this cool Ringling Brothers uh, elephant cup. The top lifts up, so that's kind of cool. The Ringling Brothers Circus is no longer in business. This kind of stinks. Bop it XT. This is get about eighteen, nineteen dollars ship for those. At Harvard University Finance Club. Graduate School of Business Administration. So somebody might want that. Got Super Bowl 23, uh, second Super Bowl that the Bengals lost. Let's not talk about that. Got a bunch of little odds and ends here. This little Godzilla thing. I was supposed to give these to Mikey. He don't even know about them. Thought that was cool his head light up new kids on a block cassette tape a michael jackson cassette tape d 
these are worthless. They're like little PC things for uh, Burger King, X-Men. Another sealed tape, Mariah Carey cassette, a Sony remote. So I'll take that for six bucks. Why not? We'll definitely make some money on that VHS uh, cleaner. The bop it. You know, there's some money to be made here. Some stuff. Just move on to somewhere else. All right, guys. I'll do it for that. I just stopped at the pawn shop while we was out and bought a few things here. Got a uh, Namco Museum Mega Mix. 24 games. Still sealed. There's all the games there. Nothing too crazy. We got a NBA 2K17. If you didn't know, there's like the 2K17 games on 360. Usually sell pretty good. And we got some Godzilla Blu-ray. We got uh, from the Toho collection. We got Godzilla, Tokyo, SOS, and Final Wars. I might have this one. I don't think I have uh, the Rebirth of Mothra 1, 2, and 3. So I'll pre keep that one. But these go for like 15 bucks. So I'll probably flip that one. I'm pretty sure I got that one. I'm here. Not a bad pickup for $10. I'm here. 10 bucks for those four. Hey guys, we got a tub of stuff here. We're going to uh, take in the uh, GameStop. They got a $5 for every uh, game worth more than $2. You can get an extra 5 bucks. So. We're gonna take in all this junk. Most of the stuff's the stuff sitting around. A couple of them, the save batteries don't work, I think. But I think I can get like seven bucks for that, so that's got to go. So let's go in there and see what we get. I should at least get a few hundred bucks. All right, guys, just getting out of GameStop here, and uh, we did pretty good. We got a decent amount. Like I said, a lot of this stuff is like the stuff that's sitting in the garage, stuff I didn't want to mess with. Stuff has some scratches on it, you know. Got a Mario Party 8, got 1380. A lot of it's seven or eight dollar, eight dollars a piece. Got 16 for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. I think I paid eight for that the other day. Minecraft got 1270. Pokemon Emerald 3250, which was a great one. Donkey Kong 64, 1270, Pokemon Blue, 1490. I know some of the Pokemon games might not have saved. I'm not sure. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, that label was pretty faded. I was surprised she took it. We got 1710 for that. Total of $349.70. 34 items. So it's $10 an item. Average. Uh, it was really weird. She said they don't take retro games without the cases. So she wouldn't take my Lost Kingdoms on GameCube. Nine, I'd say 95 times out of 100 if you order the retro games from their website, you won't get a case. So that's BS. I, like, I would buy tons more of the retro games like PS1 and stuff if I knew I was getting a case in the mail, but you don't. So I, that was kind of weird she didn't take that because it didn't have a case, which I don't know. But anyways, 140 bucks I'll take it, or 349 dollars I'll take it.